Hey guys, this is Dame Tech and I'm back with another exciting video. As you can see, PC emulation is finally available for the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. When later 9.0 released yesterday and therefore, I had to test. For this video, I will be finally doing a PC emulation versus iOS port comparison using Resident Evil 2 Remake. Quick note, this test is purely for fun and not a one-to-one -one test that is indicative of the Snapdragon 8 Elite versus A18 Pro performance. Needless to say, looking at graphics settings, I have everything set to low graphics here in the Red Magic 10 Pro, while resolution is set to 720p. Now, for the iPhone, unlike before, I finally fixed or figured out the configuration file and was able to manually adjust graphics slightly higher to match as much as possible the same graphics here on the Red Magic. Henceforth, graphics have been increased to a mixture of low to medium settings via the configuration file. And as you can see, I am testing at 900p resolution with no metal effects upscaling this time. Now with all of this out of the way, let's get started.
Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here.
time, Chris. Where are you? Oh, shit. They're inside, too. Focus, Claire. Focus. So now that we've tested for about 18 to 19 minutes on each device, let's start with peak temperature. And as expected, with higher graphics than last time, the iPhone is running a much higher temperature, which we can see at 38 Celsius. While the Red Magic 10 Pro with fan is running at 44 to 45 Celsius. Mind you, the Red Magic is emulating the full PC version and not a downgraded port like iOS. Hence. Still very impressive for the Red Magic here. Now, let's talk about performance. But again, before we dive in, let me again remind you all that this test is purely for fun and does not represent the A18 Pro versus the Snapdragon 8 Elite performance comparison. 
as both phones are running a completely different version of this game. The Red Magic is emulating the full PC variant, while the iPhone is running a native iOS port version. Needless to say, both phones performed exceptionally well. If we look at the bottom, the Red Magic averaged 46 frames per second at 720p, while the iPhone averaged 58 frames per second at 900p. And since the iOS game isn't a one-to-one -one version of the PC game, I tried my best to make the graphics equal. Henceforth, both seem to max out the GPU usage with their respective graphics settings. The iPhone used an average of 90% of its GPU, while the Red Magic used 99% of its GPU. Last thing I must note, the Red Magic did use an average of 15.3 watts of power during this test. With all of this being said, both phones again did phenomenal in their own respective rights. The Red Magic is a powerhouse and it's incredible that we can now emulate PC games and get a good experience. I'm excited to see what's in store for Android and emulation as technology continues to grow. Well, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more tests like this.